What is it with me and reviewing car stuff recently? I did Twisted Metal on the other channel. Which will come out way before this. Um, and now we're doing cars. And you know what? I didn't fucking expect to be crying today about cars. Like, this movie that I'm like... You know, I have the DVD. Legitimately, like, one of the only DVDs I fucking own of Pixar. I mean, I got this, like, a long time ago. Probably the year it came out. Or whatever. What, like, 2005 or 6 or whatever? And, um... Yeah, so, um... You know, like... I, I had taken... Technically, I hadn't taken any pause of of Pixar. I mean sort of. Like I hadn't see I didn't see this movie when it came out or anything, but The Incredibles was the one before this and I saw the shit out of that movie, but you know, I didn't like go see this in theaters or anything, which is f fucking weird that I didn't go see this in theaters. My dad is like a racer, like a race car driver. He, that's like his little that's his hobby. He was really big at doing it at the time. I remember like, me showing him this movie after, I, like, I got it, because I'm like, oh, Dad will enjoy this, because, you know, he's really into racing and stuff. And I, I remember we really liked Talladega Nights, another movie I have to review at some point that came out before this. Somehow I saw that before this. I mean, obviously, because it came out before this, but... Um... This is 2005, because in 2006 they didn't release a movie, and then it was Ratatouille in 2007. So, yeah, I mean, it's like cars man like i got it i remember liking it back then like thinking it was pretty good um i'm so up and down on this fucking movie i always think it's a good movie but until i like genuinely sit down and watch it again like i mean i know that's how you're supposed to watch every fucking movie but you know sometimes you throw shit out on the side and i feel like this is one that i usually give less of a shake than others if you legitimately sit down and watch this movie it's very good, and it actually has some good emotional beats to it. Like, the whole movie is basically just an emotional beat um, by a certain point, you know? And if you know, like, the movie, and then you go back and watch it again, you understand the character arc of Lightning McQueen. How he's, like, this really famous, obsessed guy with being famous, but... You see it in the undertones. He's not necessarily happy. He's just, like, kind of distracted by um, his quest to be the best in this. Because he's this rookie that, you know, has this big break to be the star rookie. You know, he's the first rookie that could ever win a Piston Cup. But things aren't going right for him. And all of the things that he doesn't think that he wants and he, he keeps shunning away the things that he really needs because he doesn't he doesn't think any of that is important especially when he gets to radiator springs you know um he's so cocky and arrogant and stuff um a lot like chick hicks in a lot of ways you know with some room to grow you know and so so that's uh that's where it comes down to him being a better person or Britta Carr or whatever than Chick Hicks, you know. It was voiced by Michael Keaton, by the way, which is just funny. Like, not in the third movie, but in this movie, the villain's voiced by Michael Keaton. It's just weird. Um, does a good job with it, though. Um, also, the soundtrack is good. It's Randy Newman again. Um, lots of good emotional moments in the soundtrack as well. It really sells... The movie, you know, the the movie is all about slowing down and, and taking a moment and and I think that's actually <laughs> it's actually the perfect metaphor for why half of the time I'm probably not as into this movie. Not that I'm not that I don't like it, but it's like I always liked the movie, but you know, sometimes I'm just like, Oh yeah, it's cars, you know, we can skip past that one. We did a marathon of Pixar movies in like two thousand fifteen or something and Cars was one of the ones we skipped past, so Unfortunately, we only had so much time, of course, but, um, it didn't deserve that. It deserved better, you know? Um, because it's a great movie. I really, I really enjoy it. But anyway, the whole movie is about slowing down, right? And taking a breath, you know, you, you're going fast, you're, you're trying to, like, live life at the, the highest 
fastest pace possible, but that's not a sustainable way to live life. You have to take a breath every now and again and um, just learn to smell the roses, basically. And that's kind of the, like I said, the whole point of the movie. You know, he gets stuck in this radiator springs. He thinks it's this fucking curse. He's he's just so eager to get out of there and get back to his fast life and his race. You know, this little hidden away town that has nothing to do with him and that's the perfect place for him to learn some humility and some, hu some carmanity you know uh by which i mean humanity but they're not human so carmanity i just coined that one there um you know and and at first everyone sees him for exactly what he is he's this sort of you know hot shot car that's just he does the road wrong the first time, and, and you know, he's, he, he says that thing, like, you know, oh, matches, she's like, that looks horrible, and he's like, it smashes the rest of the town. It's like, Jesus Christ, man, learn. You know, obviously she and everyone else cares about the town and whatever. Um, what is this? Anyway, uh, so... You know, and, and there's a lot of great moments. Um, I think Mater is kind of like the first crack in the in the armor there. He he just he's just so genuinely positive and happy, kind of like uh, Good Burger with Ed. You know, he kind of is the reason Dexter stops being so uptight and kind of learns something is because Mater is just so genuine. You know, and Ed in that movie, Ed's just so genuine. Um. I hate to say, like, the lovable idiot character, but that's kind of the trope here, you know? So, I think it works, because he doesn't know any other happiness than this place, you know, this small little town, and and he and everyone else knows the beauty of it. A lot of them have kind of given up in a lot of other ways because it's like the travelers stopped like traveling through after the big interstate was made but again it's like people just want to go fast or cars just want to go fast that's why the interstate is there you know they they used to uh what's the line from the movie they used to drive um they, they drive to make time not to have a good time like they used to you know and that's that's what it used to be. It used to be like a little detour off the road, you know, or it was the road, you know, for a minute there. And then when the interstate started, it was like a detour off the road. And then just nobody wanted to go that way because, you know, here's the interstate. Why should we go that way? Right. So it became like abandoned, which is crazy. Like such a nice town, you know, it's, it's crazy. And, um, I think, it, I think it was an interesting thing to do doc too. Like he's this big, race car driver the biggest race car driver from the past and 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 he's he's also hidden away in this town because he wanted to give up um well people gave up on him he didn't want to give up people gave up on him so he gave up the racing life and so when that life came back to him it's like he just wants that that car out of there because he doesn't want anything to do with them but you know by the end um by the end, he 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 learns, you know, and he and he gets he, he's happy with lightning, and they they have a nice relationship and stuff, and he teaches them his secrets and that kind of. Thing. It's nice, and, and you know, especially when they all show up at the end in the final race, there that stuff like that just really pulls on your heartstrings, you know. I really, I really like that. I mean. That's, those are the kind of moments I feel, and especially at the end there, like, he's learned so much throughout the movie. He's about to win the fucking Piston Cup, his entire dream, and he gives all of that up because that's not his dream anymore. That's the old him's dream. You know, I mean, it still is his dream, sort of, but in that moment, he realizes there's something more important when the other car, uh, the king or whatever, crashes, because that's what happened to Doc. And, and his legacy was tarnished for a number of years because of something like that. And this was the king's last race. So, so Lightning's just like, no, I need to go back. I need to help him through. 
that's a big moment. And especially character wise, that's a huge moment, you know? I, I think I think that's really a perfect summation of his entire character arc is that he would have never done that at the beginning of the movie and he comes back and helps him at the end of the movie and he lets Chick Hicks win the Piston Cup. The thing he's been dreading the entire fucking movie. He just lets it happen because, you know, he's got to help him, you know? There's somebody in need who he's got to help and, and he goes to help him. Uh, and, and, like... You know, he, uh, over his time in Radiator Springs, it's great. He learns all this stuff. He, he has to grow a lot. And, um, you know, he really genuinely makes connections with everyone in town. Uh, more so Sally and the Mater and, and Doc and, you know. But uh, by the end, and especially after Sally, like, tells him the story of Radiator Springs, what it used to be like, that really affects him. He really resonates with that and he's like wow this this place is way cooler than i thought it was i mean he's starting to get that picture and then the backstory really gets him invested and so at that point he's like i gotta i gotta help these people and so he helps every single one of those people that is such a gratifying great and emotional moment because he knows he knows that sally Wants this town to just be back on the map, be as good as it used to be, and, 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 you know, even if there wasn't a bunch of people there, the people that are there are the special people to begin with, right? That's, it's already home with them there. So, to see the town up in action again, with the, all the lights, and everyone's been helped and everything, it just... The, the fact that he did that after it, after all this resistance and all this pulling and tearing and, and he he finished the road the night before he could have left he 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 was bound to leave and he didn't do that he wanted he still wanted to help people you know that's he grew that much you know um it's, it's just it's just really powerful stuff. You know, I know, and they're the cars, and it, it, it's kind of silly and gimmicky or whatever. Their eyes look weird. It's, it's like, it, who cares? The story and, and the characters and the emotion is so good. You know, it's so genuinely well done. I It just is so well written. And, and, and to do a character arc like that and make everything, like, wrap up and tie together is just... It's just so well done. I mean, this is kind of, like, excellency that fucking Pixar does, you know? Um, I honestly don't know if we've seen a character grow this much yet, you know? To this extent. Um... I don't, I don't think so. I can't think of a single one. That's, that was like this much growth, you know, they, they go from total arrogance to just, you know, that, to the exact opposite of that, you know, it, it, I think the most growth of a character we've seen so far in a Pixar movie, it's, it's just, it's wonderful, you know, it's, it's such good stuff, um, I always thought of this and like I, I do really like Ratatouille, but like this and Ratatouille is kind of like that like just just a small dip between like you know bridging the gap of like the great movies like you know Incredibles to like you know and then you go like Cars and it's like Ratatouille is pretty good it's kind of coming on the up and then it's like fucking Wally -E and Up and like Toy Story three and shit like way better yeah anyway um but. Man, this this is a genuinely really good movie, and I just rewatching it and and having getting to experience it again, um, I think did me a lot of good. Um, and the message, especially of just like slowing down and stuff. Um, I re I you know it's something I just needed to hear right now that sometimes you just gotta slow down and take life for what it is because uh 
I'm definitely in all grind mode like 90% of the time. Even when I'm trying to have fun and watch a movie. The reason I watched this movie was because I'm reviewing all the Pixar movies. You know, I might have skipped it if it was just on my own, but I didn't because it's important. And I'm glad uh, I got to, you know, even all the games that I play, it, it all goes towards the channel. You know, it's like, it's always a grind, you know, even when I'm not working, I'm working. It's a fun working, but it's still like working, you know. Um, so, yeah, like. Uh, it's just, it's just really good. I don't know. As requested by train school, here's... I don't know. Okay. Uh, fucking, fucking cars, man. One expected it. Wasn't expecting it. I like I like that moment at the end there too, when when all the cars like find him and stuff, and he's like genuinely like apprehensive about leaving because he he doesn't know if he's he's ever gonna come back, and and that affects him at the beginning of the race and stuff. Is like he can't get his mind out of Radiator Springs because that's where he wants to be. You know, he would have given anything to be at this Piston Cup before, and then now the exact opposite you know he that's all he wants is to just go back and take the breath and do the R&R &R, you know it's, it's such a genuine moment this moment actually is where he's like you know I don't get you like why why you you're a big shot lawyer and you were rich and stuff like why did you leave and she's like I got, I broke down here and they all took me in and, and I, I just fell in love with this place, you know? And, and that just, that really, that really makes me feel, you know? Like, it's like, that's a really powerful thing. It's like, yeah, y y she wasn't happy, you know? She could never find happiness. And, and, and that's why they're so good together, because she understands what he's going through and he now understands what she, you know, he kind of did that same that route the same path that, that she did and finally kind of learns what's was beautiful and magical is is this is this not the life that he has but but this other life that he that he now has you know because he's got all these friends and stuff um he was alone before despite being very well known and that's uh that's too bad you know and i think i just I think they did a really good job portraying this character and this character arc and his relationship with all these other characters and actually getting him to, to, to genuinely give a shit about anybody but himself. I mean, I think that's just really, it's really heartwarming stuff, you know? I just I really, I really resonated with that this time and, it's, and especially the message of just like slowing down and not you know, breakneck pace, go, 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 like, sometimes I need to hear that, you know, so, um, fucking cars, man, like, I wasn't expecting it, wasn't expecting it, wasn't, ex I, I, I knew it was a good movie, I fucking knew it, I didn't even put the movie up here, there it is, the movie, uh, man, it's just, it's just really good, I was, I was that distracted, it was so good, I just wanted to get out here and talk about it, you know? Um, and then, like, the weird eye thing, too. It's, just, it's an impressive-looking movie. I, I genuinely... A lot of these, like, Blu-ray releases of these Pixar movies just look so nice, you know? Um, and, I mean, this isn't even my favorite Cars movie. Uh, it might be now. I don't know. Like, we'll have to see when I go back and watch Cars 3 again. I thought Cars 3 was really good, though. Like... Very genuinely good. So good. Um, Pixar just does such a good job with their movies. You know, of course, there's Cars too, and we don't like to talk about that one. But I, I think, I think why Cars two doesn't work, just as a brief little snippet for the future. There, I think why it doesn't work 
is because you have such a genuinely good movie that was like actually just about this like really personal problem you know like this very emotional small town thing and uh and you know cars too it makes it like okay now there's spies and it's like this international race thing it's like what the fuck does this have to do with the uh the first movie there you know like what how how do these things tie together you know they they, they don't really and and it's more about mater and stuff and like that's that is what it is, but it's like they, they, they played it for laughs. It really was a sequel that was probably about cash again, which was it is just really disappointing uh, with with Pixar, you know, because Pixar is such a great company and, and they take movies about cars and make them fucking emotional and awesome, you know? Um, this shouldn't be a good movie, and it is. It's fucking excellent. It's such a good movie, you know? I don't like it as much as, like, the Toy Story movies or, like, the fucking Incredibles or whatever, but goddamn. I mean, it hit me, like, harder than I think Monsters, Inc. T did this time, and, you know, like, A Bug's Life is really good, but it's like, is it as good as Cars? <laughs> or, you know, Finding Nemo is really good, too, though. Um... Yeah, anyway, we'll save all the comparisons for the end. Uh, I'll do a big tier list or some shit. Oh, yeah, Cars is good. It's the whole package, you know? You got the music, which is really excellent. The, the visuals are great. The character work is just excellent. The emotionality, the scene is about emotionality. You know, that's fucking great. It's all really well done. Um... You know, take a breath. Stop and take a breath. I I was so distracted at the beginning. Honestly, uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a nine out of ten. Cars is really good. So this is actually appropriate because I just made these today. Um, genuinely an awesome movie. Okay, we're we're done. All right. So stick around, subscribe, join the Bad Girl Coven. Check this out. I got business cards now. And those QR codes will lead you to my channels and stuff. I just thought that was really cool. I made that myself. I'm CEO, bitch. <laughs> That's a movie we got to do sometime. Um, Can't believe it. It's a fucking great movie. You know? Stick around, subscribe. Join the bad girl, Kevin. Uh, magic comes from the heart. Never forget that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Emily... Out. Ka-chow.